Math is challenging. Math is easy. Sometimes math can be boring. Math is found everywhere in life. At its best, math is solving problems creatively. That's a crucial skill to get them started to more advanced problems. And it's like asking those big questions is crucial to solving the word problems, but solving real life problems too. If you get kids to see that they can think like that, the object is to transform that thinking into math. If you're interested in how you look every day and your style, if you have five shirts and they all different colors, it can be used as any possible way. Uh, and then you decide shirt with shorts or shirt with jeans, you can pull out six to seven different ways into one pants into shirts. You know how to find out the outcome of it. One of the big things that we do is the problem of the day. We like to make it something that they really have to think about, a real life situation that isn't necessarily adding numbers, multiplying numbers. It's all about thinking. If I were doing this in real life, how would I do it? Is my answer correct? That sort of thing. There was this wool coat that I really loved in this one store and I kept passing by. I just wanted to see if the price would go down because it was a hundred dollars. So I kept going by every single day until this one day came that I saw it on like sale, like 50% off. So I was like, yay! <laughs> and so I went in there and only to find out that 35% also came off. So it went even down further. And so I finally just went home to my mom and said if she could get it for me. And when we went to the store, it was only like $20 for it. So I was so happy because after all that math, it went from 100 to $20. They're letting us know what they learn. They're exploring ways of thinking. And they're also learning because they're showing some steps, but they're learning how to finish up those problems and how to think critically about those problems. If you were to look at a thermometer right now, and we look in the history, the average temperature is 52 degrees, and today is 62 degrees. You'd be breaking a record, and you would say to yourself, when was the last time it was 52 degrees on this day? And you would say, three years ago. If it was three years ago, how much did it increase by, and how much each year the temperature increased? You know, a lot of students look at problems and they just say immediately there's too many words, numbers. Mm -hmm. But if you learn simple things like, okay, write down what I know, kind of organizing your thoughts on how to approach a problem. And with that comes the confidence, too. Okay, see, I take a cookie and we were learning fractions. And I cut it into fourths and start saying one fourth and plus three other fourths makes what? And they'd be like, oh, a whole. I'm like, yes, you get me. Letting them throw out ideas if they have to draw pictures, if they have to manipulate objects, whatever style learner they are, to get them to realize that they can solve those problems and they are actually doing math, whether they realize it or not. You know, making it their own, making it personal, that's an important thing to do. It's balancing the different levels of interest, the yeah. different maturity, and the different skill level. And you never know who's going to respond to what, so adaptability is important. I wanted to find out the average of a baseball game, and what I had to do was to average um, how many times they went up to bat and how many times they actually hit the ball. And all I had to do was divide that by the number of times they hit the ball by how many times they went up, and I got my average. Use something that you don't use usually for math. Like use props, do something, do an act, do a little skit, bring food, let them come up and teach the class. Let's see how they understand it and see what works.
we have students come up and put their ideas down and have the other students check those ideas to see if they're on the right track, what went well. What's exciting is that a, a student will get the first, a real crucial part of the problem and then kind of get stuck, which we expect. But the fact that they get that first crucial part allows us to continue to that end result and get to the real part of the problem. It's going to have to take some trying and perseverance to get it down and somebody else might have an easier way to it. So you might find it their way down and you got to learn new ways. It's always teaching you something new. The students, they were doing the math, they were so focused and they really thoroughly enjoyed it. It seemed like a lot of times I was walking around and they were actually like helping to teach that concept to the kids that were playing and it was a really awesome thing to see with kids teaching kids, playing with kids, mm -hmm. and helping kids all at the same time. I see math in this classroom. I see math when I'm just walking down the street. I see math in the mall. I see math in sport fields. I see math in weather. I see math on a globe. I see math on TV. I see math in myself. <laughs>